Hi, I had a couple of questions on what exactly I did here to make this thing work. So basically, let me just take you through uh, the beginning. What it was, was a point of sale computer used in stores. This one was probably, I don't know, from 2000, somewhere around the two th year 2000, maybe 2002. Um, and what it was, was a, I think this one was a, a 4D6 uh, computer and it has an LCD panel inside here and on top of the screen there's a glass touchscreen matrix uh, that gets connected to a touchscreen controller so you can have uh, touchscreen functions. Now all of those functions were built onto separate boards that were on the back of the controller in here. What I did was I removed all the computer parts and the touchscreen parts and everything like that just left the LCD panel itself and the um, touchscreen piece of glass in front of the panel left that intact. On eBay there's a company called NY Touch that offers um, replacement LCD driver boards which is right over here and uh, they come with the um, CFL uh, drivers as well to drive the backlighting on the LCD panel and um, down there you can see there's a button board that you can use to control the um, the on-screen display functions it works really nicely everything's auto detect so I didn't really have to mess around with the menus or anything like that it just automatically detected the screen resolution sized everything properly brightness and contrast were fine the way they were out of the box so I just left everything that way so that that gets the LCD panel working you have to supply it with a 12 volt input which I actually took off from the computer I just um, moved one of the power cables outside created an adapter and uh, just fed the wire in here and fed it up to the disk driver uh, module. On the driver module there is a VGA output and a DVI output right beside it. I'm using the VGA output. So what it does is basically turns any LCD panel, well any any supported panel, into a um, into a uh, monitor. Now the thing is you have to specify which panel you have when you order from them because they custom program the driver board to work with your particular panel and if you just ordered it without ordering the the board it wouldn't work or sorry ordered it without specifying the programming it wouldn't work so uh, you have to make sure you do that the second now that gets the monitor working as a monitor now the second part of the equation is the touch panel part they, this company also sells uh, a driver board for the five wire resistive touch panel screen that these uh, particular POS devices came with. Now this is right here, you can see it's located right here inside, it's just a small little circuit board. One connector goes to the five wire um, resistive screen, the other one goes to a, uh, another connector which goes to a USB connector which connects to your computer. And what you do is once you've got the, the board uh, connected and wired correctly, you install the driver in Windows XP and you run the calibration utility to actually go ahead and uh, calibrate the touch screen and it allows, there's a, a utility here that allows you to um, do the settings and change the change the, uh, the calibration for it. So for example right here if I click on um, tools I can just do a draw test and it shows you you can just how the touch screen works you can draw on it so I think that that device was you have to check the auction that I linked I think it was about fifteen dollars and the um, LCD driver board was about thirty eight drive thirty eight dollars so hopefully this helps explain more on what I did to get this working as a touch screen monitor for use with Mach 3 uh, have a good day